There are some mixed messages when it comes to real estate. The U.S. housing starts declined last month, but home sales hit their second highest mark in the past three years. And joining us now is the CEO of the New Jersey Association of Realtors, Jared Grosso. It's good of you to come on back in. Those numbers are national, but here in New Jersey, we're seeing uh, in most of the state, I understand, something of a, of a rebound. Tell oh, me about absolutely. that. absolutely. Uh, what we're seeing is that in our seven out of our eight metro areas, home sale prices have increased uh, if you compare fourth quarter of 2012 to fourth quarter 2011. So it's a positive message that's going on with our housing market. Seven out of the eight. Where, where is it most pronounced? The most pronounced area, I believe, is in Atlantic County. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a, a tremendous increase in home value, uh, home pricing, uh, when it comes to the sale price. Uh, but the other uh, key aspect of this is volume. Volume is up if you compare January of 2013 compared to January of 2012. We have seen an increase in units sold. So you're looking at about 35,000 uh, units sold for the Northeast area. Surprising to you or did you see it coming? I think that it, I wouldn't consider it surprising. I think that uh, obviously with any downtick in the real estate market, uh, eventually we're going to climb, climb out of it. Uh, New Jersey is a resilient area, and I think that we're starting to see uh, some little light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, what's the one place out of those seven out of eight? What's the eighth? The eighth is the Edison uh, metro area. Um, I, I couldn't tell you why their home values uh, slip, but there's a slight decrease, mm -hmm. about 2%. So it's not really just, it's not moving in the opposite direction. It just didn't no. keep up with the others. Talk to me about the effect of the hurricane, the lingering after effect of that. Well, I think that the lingering effect obviously is going to be on our tourism industry. Uh, obviously, that has an effect on home prices. But I think the key message is that New Jersey is going to be open for business. We are open for business. When you say tourism has an effect on prices, explain to me how. Well, obviously, we, we have an area that people like to come visit. And um, a lot of people like to own their second homes in those areas. So therefore, if uh, an area such as like a Seaside Heights, which is going to be open for business uh, after Memorial Day weekend or at Memorial Day weekend, that's what they're starting to work towards, um, you want to make sure that you have uh, a clear message out there. And, and the message is that, listen, we're here, we're a resilient area, we're coming back. Hurricane Sandy is not going to keep us down. When you have something like this, which, and we, let's face it, in this state we've never seen anything quite like this. So you have, I guess, you have fewer houses in some cases that you can market. It does create a degree of scarcity, which in some cases can increase that, that perception of demand, right? It can. Uh, obviously, when it comes to the seasonal rental market, mm -hmm. there's going to be a little more pressure to find housing, especially if you're used to going to a certain area like a Point Pleasant or Seaside Heights. Uh, the, the house that you might have rented in the past may not be there, but most likely uh, through the rebuilding process, it can be there. What are you seeing in terms of, of the type of housing that is most likely to sell now? Are we talking about, you know, the luxury homes? the middle of the road, the, the, the uh, starter homes? What precisely? Well, I think that this is an opportunity. I mean, we also have some foreclosures uh, still out there on the market, and I think it's an opportunity for gener Generation X, Generation Y, even the millenniums, to get into this housing market. Take advantage of those foreclosed properties because you're going to get them at a cheaper price, and it's a good way to, to get into the real estate market. This state kind of lingered behind in terms of recovering from foreclosure because of the, the court involvement in the robo-signing scandal, right. slowing things down but there's a lot of houses coming on the market now as a result? Absolutely. We're going to see an influx of, uh, of inventory hitting the market, uh, in this, particularly in the foreclosure area because of our judicial system. I'm looking at uh, statistics that show that we might have 18 months worth of inventory out there, which is a tremendous opportunity for people who are qualified to get into the housing market. Optimistic about the course of the year? Absolutely. If you look at interest rates, interest rates right now are about 3.5%. It, it's unheard of. So, well, we'll, we'll hear some more about it in the future. Always appreciate your being here, Jared. Thanks right. so much. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it.